I couldn't have this. <laughs> Simply put, I couldn't have this. I needed to make a video um, explaining myself and my process. So that's what we got today. And if anyone knows me, they know I made this whole channel out of spite. So I did it once, I can do it again. Everything I've done so far has been purely out of someone saying, who is Matt Bressington? And today is the next chapter of that. Let's get into the film. I know there's bound to be some people that are like, oh, he's living rent free in your head. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that scouts should be held accountable if they make bad takes. And this isn't a bad take that I made of a top five European lineman. I feel like I need to defend myself and my own work because I put a lot of work into that. Also, what does the UK have to do with like anything? UK has American football too. In fact, our team, if we had all of our players available, would be really, really good. The leading rusher last season in the LF, British. A lot of really good linebackers and safeties, British. A lot of really good players are coming to the league next year, British. A lot of players in college, British. Some players in the NFL, British. Anyway, I'm going off. I'm going off topic a lot. It is fair to say this is very much. Um, an egotistical revenge thing for me and I'm, I'm all right with that honestly and i want it to be known i don't hold any ill will against alexander this is just uh for myself to make something just to prove that i do know what i'm talking about so alexander if you're watching this i appreciate you lighting that fire under me let's get into the film and you're a lot bigger than me please don't find me <laughs> appreciate it thank you i'll also go one step further and handicap myself and i'll only use his five minute highlight reel that he himself has uploaded as his highlights that way i can just pick it apart and further prove that there are no perfect players let's just start off with the first play as a six foot six 284 pound lineman he does have decent size although he is slightly lighter than a traditional tackle but you can already see from the starters that his pad level is not necessarily where you would want it to be. We can also see that on the second play. He does have an excellent finish during these plays, but his pad level is far too high and he is reaching for these players and stumbling forwards on his momentum. His crown is also lowered, limiting his vision and ability to come off that first block and into a second level block. As you can clearly see, there are many examples of low pad level being an issue. This is a regular occurrence both in and out of his stance. And he does win most of these reps, if not all of these reps, because he relies on that I am stronger than you kind of technique, which is fine against playing people that aren't to a high enough level. But when you come against someone with a really mean bull rush, he's going to have issues. And of course, I've handicapped myself to just the highlight reel. I guarantee if I went into the full games that Vienna played last season, we would see him have issues with bull rushing. That's just I can see that from here. His pad level is far too high. Some of these plays could be considered nitpicking on the highlight reels, but that is because when you hold yourself as a top five offensive lineman, you need to be scrutinized as such. And if I'm picking this up off a five minute highlight reel, teams are going to be feasting off of it in full game tape. I touched on his speed a little bit and I just think it needs more of a microscopic look at it. He does have movement ability. I wanna get that clear. And he is pretty decent when it comes to coming into the second level when he wants to. However, as a pass protector, he is not elite. He's fine, but he's not elite. Guard suits him better than tackle. It suits his aggression and his finish and his run blocking and his slight ability to get to the second level a lot better than tackle. A tackle, he gets caught flat-footed. He can can get beaten by speed if he doesn't just get hands. And his hand placement is okay. Like, he doesn't necessarily redirect his hands if he gets caught but I wouldn't say it's a glaring problem. There is also a bit of a tendency to be a bit grabby. Again, not a big thing, but he definitely does hold. But let's be real, what Lyman doesn't. There are, of course, a lot of really, really good things about Alexander's game. As I said before, his finish is really good. He's aggressive. He's a very good guard, and I think he's best utilized as a guard because of his ability to clear holes, his just unparalleled aggression, and thorough finish very very thorough finish you know you very 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 rarely see people finishing like him so he's phenomenal when it comes to that level of his game overall is alexander a great player yes that's why i mentioned him in the article he's written in that article as one of the players i think could be easily in the top five on a different day after we've seen him play because we haven't seen him play this season i know you could say the same that i put kino ebanks in there but he's just come back from the cfl a bit different 
and I think he's great and I really did enjoy making this video and just going into the delving into it showing my knowledge when it comes to American football even though I'm British he's going to make a big impact with Vienna this year and that's undisputable and if he fixes the holes that I've pointed out he will be unstoppable really hope you enjoyed this thank you and goodbye